Okay, for this question, uh, we're we're asked to determine the exact values when cotangent of theta is equal to negative root three from zero, where theta is greater or equal to zero but less or equal to two pi. So the first step is we know that cotangent is one. Sorry, let's erase that. We know that cotangent is one over tan of theta. Is equal to negative root of 3. Therefore, tan of theta will be the reciprocal of this value, which will be negative 1 over root 3. So the first step is we know that <coughs> it asks for where tan of theta is equal to negative root 30. So negative means that in this unit circle, tan will be negative in quadrants 2 and quadrants 4. So we know that. The, our solution must lie within these two quadrants. And next step, we know that tan, for those who haven't memorized unit circle, uh, we know that tan is equal to sine theta over cos of theta. So therefore, we want the numer numerator to be 1 and the denominator to be root 3. So therefore, sine must be 1 half and cos must be root 3 over 2. So in quadrants where cos is equal to root 3 over 2 and sine is equal to 1 half, the reference angle will be at 30 degrees or in radians pi over 6 because at pi over 6, the cos is equal to root 3 over 2, which is the x coordinate, and sine is equal to 1 half, which is the y coordinate. So what we do is we apply the reference angle to quadrants 2 and quadrants 4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just count uh, root, sorry, I'm going to just count pi over 6 because pi over 6 is equal to 30 degrees. So what we're going to do is 1, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, which is one of our solution, which is our solution quadrant 2, 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 8 pi over 6, 9 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6, which is our other solution. So therefore, theta will be equal to 5 pi over 6, which is in the second quadrant, and 11 pi over 6, which lies in the fourth quadrant. So that's the exact values in radian form.